The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the markets, let's take a look at them. What do we have? You have the Dow Industrials down uh, 26. You get NASDAQ off 13. S&Ps are off 4.5. Uh, and, and if we go over and we first take a look at these S&Ps, uh, both the S&P and the NASDAQ folks uh, banging on the lows that were generated out here on Friday, right at the open. Uh, bottom line, the first leg down, volume's light. Uh, what I expect you're going to see, though, is that there's no buyers also. So what I expect you're going to see inside this, uh, if we do the E-mini first, what you're looking at is this is that the low that was generated out here on Friday, okay, was at the, uh, was at 940. That low was uh, 2083. We hit 2085 um, this morning. Uh, that low that was generated out here, we had, uh, let's see, we had 85,000 contracts. The first time that we came down here, we, uh, we had... Uh, Pretty wild, 85,000 contracts, but it didn't hit it. The second time down, which is trying to get into it right now, let's see, we are at, uh, okay, a new bar is going to start right now. So what you, what you have right now is this. The second time down, we only had uh, 43,000 contracts. So what you're going to see here is that this is just basically going to try to get into these lows. And if we break those lows, then, then you're going to see uh, some real action on the downside, which, by the way, uh, is really unusual um, not only just because we've had three down days, but because of the fact that you get a Monday in the summer. You know, bottom line is that most of the time um, the volume characteristic will lighten up, uh, but on Friday it didn't lighten up at all. In fact, uh, if, we t if we take a look at this on Friday, I'll just put the SPY up, and when you see uh, we had an expansion of volume, and that's saying that uh, investors are getting real nervous, not on a small amount. Um, we came down, on Friday, we came down with 121 million shares, on Thursday, 151. On the weekly basis, and this is where it was screaming that it wants lower price also, we had a, a huge expansion on the weekly basis. We came down with 546 million shares. So bottom line is that uh, this market uh, wants lower price, and we'll see what type of a role we have uh, happening out here today. Um, some of the high volume stocks in uh, this market on the way up and down today is that you have uh, Hilton is down 38 cents. You got American Airlines down 155. The transports folks are just getting killed. It's absolutely a mind blower. Uh, but those babies are just getting, it's, it's relentless. Uh, they're in a bear market, monster bear market. And it's like, okay, with oil so cheap, why are they in a bear market? They've probably just been taking people to the cleanest too long and people are fed up. Uh, Delta Airlines is off a, a buck 17. We take a look at some of the other uh, Dow stocks out here. You have American Express down 21. IBM is off a buck 70. Oh, go take a look at IBM. IBM's giving it up again. It's pretty amazing. Amazon is down at uh, 368. Our man, Mr. Dave White, he was just giving us a heads up in the den. Uh, and this is going to be interesting to see. The Apple Development Conference is starting at uh, 1 o'clock. Eastern Standard Time, which, uh, of course, is 10 o'clock in the morning in California. Um, and, you know, a PP. we'll see what kind of uh, pumping is going to come inside of Apple. We put Apple up. Let's just put Apple up here for a second. And this is where it's going to be wild is, is watching how much fuel can they get inside Apple, you know, Apple certainly hasn't sold off, uh, but what Apple hasn't been able to do is get any traction since uh, February 12th. 
Uh, what it does have is that it has a spike high up here at 134. 134 to 129 was the spike high that was established out here on the 28th of April. So that's when you want to watch. Uh, it, it does have a monster gap. Well, it has a lot of gaps below it. One that's screaming right now is at 112.48. We go over and we take a look at the bond market. We'll use the TLTs. What we have in the bond market, folks, is this, is that this looks like a very large ABC structure on the way down. Uh, the TLT and bonds, they're confirmed ABC structures on the way down. Uh, the, on the daily, on the weekly, right now the TLT is trading out at 117.92. And bottom line, that's a, a ABC structure on the way down to the 110 mark. Now, the 110 mark is certainly going to... Uh, you know, push that 10-year up to about 2.5. Right now, we're trading at 2.373, which is not the end of the world. But if you do want to refinance, if you are looking at uh, getting any mortgage money, go get it. Because the bottom line is I, I expect that, you know, can you, we, we pull back slightly? Yeah, you can. But the bottom line, uh, whether it's 3.85, 3.9, 4 those are, those are decent numbers for long-term money. Now, let's go over and we take a look at uh, Big Blue. Big Blue uh, looks like it's giving it up once again. And this is just amazing. The, uh, the amount of buying that the company's doing uh, inside Big Blue, you think would be able to keep it up. But Big Blue's just gone from 175 to 165 again. Um, it's coming back into the lower range. It's right next to it, too. So watch this. Soon as, we're 165.75. You get inside 164.54, and what that would do, yeah, that would say, okay, the, the lows are going to get tested again. So the way that baby is set up is saying it wants lower price. Walmart, um, who knows what's wrong, wrong with Walmart. Maybe it's Amazon taking everyone's gravy out here, but Walmart has just gone from $90 to $75. That little baby also has juice on the downside on the weekly Last week, we did monster volume, okay? When you, when you put this on a weekly, man, this is like one disaster. It's just, just like one big head. Uh, Walmart, if Walmart breaks the 7261 area, that is saying, number one, it's going to go back into the lower range, and number two, it's going to be like, man, what is just killing this stock? Now, let's go over to the uh, N, NQs. So if we look at the NASDAQ composite, and if we, I mean, the NASDAQ NDX 100, and you look at the S&Ps, what you're going to see, the same phenomena is setting up here. And what that phenomena is, is that it's going after the low that was established on Friday. That low in the NQs was 4.9. Uh, right now, we're at 5.8. I expect you're going to see that hit. The reason being is this, is that the bulls had a chance right now to get something going, okay? We're 10.15, all right? You get 45 minutes into it. Not that that's a huge amount of time into it, but what you don't have, you don't have anyone stepping in front of this market right now putting a buy in, you know? So the longer that this stays at the lower end of this range, the higher the probability goes that it's going to go after it and it's going to bust it. If we go over to and we take a look at the S&Ps, we do the same thing with the S&Ps on a 10-minute basis. What you're going to see there is that the ESM. What you're going to see there is the same type of phenomena. And the S&Ps, come on, baby. ES. It's taking its time here. Let's let me put this one over here. Okay, so someone upgraded Walmart this morning. I love it. <laughs> I guess it didn't do any good. Just giving you a heads up in the den. Okay, so ESM5. So watch this if we take a look at the SPs. Yeah, sell signal, all right, no doubt. Okay, so on the E-mini futures. Now, that, this is also going to need a lot more volume in order to crack this bottom from Friday. So we're at 2086. 2083 is the number. And if we don't see an expansion, you know, with, with price and volume in the next 15, 20 minutes, that's going to bring a higher probability that's going to go after the lows first. Now, as it goes after the lows, the key is, will it have the volume to break it? You know, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform yet, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN, and as you're over there, 
Uh, you can hit the banner on the top or on the side, and what you're going to see there is that you'll, they'll bring up the exchange, they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can trade these contracts with us, and you can see just how dynamic they are. Uh, what I would do is get your head wrapped around the NDX 100, so that'd be the U.S. Tech 100. The reason being is that it's just like trading a future contract, except that you have defined risk in a huge way. Uh, and the ones that I would like to trade quite a bit are the 80-point ones. So right now, this morning, we're in the 440s and 520s. Um, as you check those out, uh, bottom line is that uh, those, when they go two of those contracts in the Nadex platform equals one NDX contract. Uh, and if we go over here and we take a look at it, I can tell you right now how I'm going to trade this baby out. I already got uh, quite a few of them. Uh, but what I'm looking for right now, I'm just going to sit here and be patient and see how we come into that low out there. Because what we did have on Friday, it was a range-bound market on Friday. Nice trading though, the day, though. Huge trading day, actually. The thing that's amazing is that a range-bound day can really, you can really do well in, you know, because it's, it's a slow day, but the bottom line is it's, the, it's just moving product out, meaning selling at the higher end of the range, buying at the lower end of the range, buying them back. And right now, I suspect by the time we're going to be coming back from this break, um, and the X100 and your S&Ps, they're going to try to make a run for this low out here. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow is down 29. Nasdaq's off 19. S&Ps are off 6. Gold is up 320. We're going to be right back. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. 
You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, you get the uh, Dow Industrials are down uh, 14, NASDAQ's off uh, 14, S&P's are off four. And if we take a look, uh, sir, first we'll go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the weakness versus the strength, uh, which is pushing the Dow higher, even though we're lower. You have United Health is up 92 cents, Exxon Mobil is up 57, you get Verizon up 22, and Apple is up 35. Now, taking points away from it on the way down, Big Blue is the culprit there. Big Blue is down $1.57. We have Chevron off 86 cents. There's some divergence. You got uh, Exxon up 66, Chevron's down 86. Intel, Intel is down 22, and Disney is down 71. Inside the NDX 100, what are we taking a look at there when we take a look? Strength versus weakness. Uh, the strength inside the NDX 100 this morning is Tesla. Tesla's up $6.67, trading at 255. Vodafone is up 32 cents. You get Liberty Global up 44 cents, and Mattel is up 16. Taken away from it. On the way down, Wynn Resorts. That's in trouble. That's down six bucks at 103.16. We got American Airlines continues to be a wicked drag on the NDX 100. That's down 179. You get Vipple Communications off 16, and Illumina is down 585. Now, if we go over to Illumina first, let me look at this. Let's put this up because what hasn't happened is that the biotechs have not fallen apart. I know. And let's just see what we're dealing with here. One second, let me put this. Okay, so we take a look at Illumina. Okay, so what do we have here? You're, you're coming down. Oh, this is pretty amazing, actually. Okay, so you had a, a spike high on the 28th of January. That spike high had hit uh, 213, closed out at 197 that day. I tried to get up to that level on 527. It went to 210. Tried to di did it again on Friday. But now watch this. You're coming down with some monster volume today. And what that is setting up, that looks like it's setting up that Illumina wants to run down now to the 198 area. If we go over to the IBB. So the IBB, folks, continues to be at highs. You're down 257 today, which is nothing for the IBB. I mean, the spread on the IBB every day is, is about $10 because you're, you're dealing with a $364 deal here. Now, what the IBB couldn't do on Friday, there's two separate downdrafts inside the IBB just in the last four months. We had a spike high out there at 374. That's the high established on the March 20th. You come off that, now we did that high with 3.3 million. You come off that high with 4.8. You go lower with 5.2. You do a counter trend bounce. This is sick. With 1.2. So the counter trend bounces to 1.2. You go down with 4.8. As soon as we do the counter trend bounce, the last three days up there, guess what? 4.2 again on the way down. 4.3 on the way down. We get back top side again with 1.5. This little baby wants lower price. It's just a matter of how it's going to break. Inside, inside the IBB now, if we take a look at 
Biogen, there's two, there's two large ones that are already off those highs. Regeneron is the one that's keeping up the IBB up right now. But let's go to Biogen first. Biogen has already come down from 480. You're at 385. Biogen is basically building cars to go fill a gap that's left over at 361.38 from the 28th of January. Amgen, we go take a look at Amgen. Amgen is just on a slow roll. Amgen is also off its highs of the 172 area. You're at 157 right now. And we'll see how Amgen handles. Let's put this back a little bit more. Okay, so what Amgen is doing is this. Amgen wants to go test the 147 area. Now, what's kind of neat about Amgen is this. It did a full expansion on the way up. And it's just pulling back into where its strength was. But that pullback area can get you down to 146 and even 133. So you can see it's pretty dramatic on the way down how that can shake out. Now, we were just talking about the lows of Friday how the market's building cars to get into that area. We're still doing that. If we go look at the S&P first, what you're looking at the S&P is this. The low in the future on Friday was 83. We've got to 85. And what we've just done, and this is how I like to set things up, by how I correlate with the market. So the market just tried to run, meaning top side. The, we, we just got into uh, 88.50. No juice whatsoever. So as soon as you get no juice whatsoever, top side, what's going to happen? Guess what? Now the bar is going to start. It's going to build cars to go after that low of Friday. The lows of Friday want to get tested, folks, before we get into higher price. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. If you're like me, you see the world's emerging nations as a very real opportunity as these countries and their economies are developing right before our eyes. And you can rest assured that Everbank has spotted this opportunity too. In fact, they have just released the second running of their five-year Market Safe Futures Economy CD. This is a CD that could really deliver, but you only have until June 11th to take advantage. Consider the facts. If the future economy's currencies beat the US dollar over the CD term, you'll get all of the upside at maturity. And should they lose, no worries. There's zero downside risk here, as you get back 100% of your deposited principal. Don't miss out. The June 11th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is an equal housing lender and member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to make the best and most accurate decisions. Choose from a thousand equities, currencies, and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75% off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber-only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. 
No matter what you trade, the Taz Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile trader's market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesamento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials down 18. You get the Nasdaq down 14. S&Ps are off uh, four and a half. And don't forget, folks, at TFNN, 10 hours of live programming every trading day. Get it right on your cell phone starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. Just go to tfnn.mobi on your cell phone if, in your browser if you'd like to get the audio. If you want to get the video with the Tiger Charts, also, just go to tfnn.com on the right-hand side. See a little box? Say devices, you hit that device, our uh, servers will know exactly what type of device you're on. You'll get the, the video streamed right into your cell phone. Now, let's go over and take a look at the uh, GLD for one of our tigers out here. The GLD uh, trades at 10% of the price of the gold contract. That's trading out here right now at 112.34. And what we had with the GLD is this. So, so check this out. GLD, now the, the contract itself on Friday gets slammed. Volume was lighter. The volume inside the GLD was dramatically lighter. We, we came down on 5.5 million shares. You got to a price point of uh, 111.57. It closed out at 112.24. You did volume out here on the way down Friday. We did 5.5 million. The 5.5 million, however, folks, was coming into where gold came off the bottom on March 16th. That level right there is about as cool as you can get, which that level is 12.4, okay? Now, what's the next move? Well, the next, we well, get a flat market out here today. The next move is this, inside this contract, well, inside the CTF structure. The 112.35 keeps it in the higher range, and the higher range that I'm looking at is the, is the 112.28. See, when we, we had come off the bottom in April, we went like this, March rather. We went from 110, 109.77 actually, up to 117.47. They slapped the market again. GLD comes down to 112.28. It rejects lower price. And that 112.28, by the way, was going right into the strength from March 18th. We couldn't get it below that. We reject that. You go higher once again, and you got to a higher high, which is, which is impressive. You get to a price point of 117.88. We back down. As we back down, we back down with lighter volume. Bottom line right now, the way that baby is set up is that it's building cause to get into higher price. If we go to the GG, Gold Corp, you'd like to look at Gold Corp also. What you have with Gold Corp is this. Gold Corp is trading out at $17.13. Uh, what Gold Corp is doing is going right into the lows that were established out here in December. Now, what Gold Corp has done is this. She's trading right now at uh, $17.12. And we don't want to see this little baby break the $17.03 level. Because the $17.03 level, we bring this back... What you're going to see is that 
That was the lows that were established in December. Now, those lows, this is what's really cool about this equity in general, okay? And, and I do own this equity. We bought it last week. Is this. Is that we put this on a year. What you're going to see, let me put this on a, I'm going to put this on a weekly for you. Because what you're going to see is this. Is that we are coming into, bring this up, okay. Your first, your first leg down, uh, well, not your first leg down, it was a monster leg down, actually, that we went from August of 2014 from $28, you get down to $1,704. Now, at the $1,704 level, you're talking at, uh, big numbers, meaning $5.7 million. You go topside, you tested that in December, and you tested that with $7 million, so it broke it had higher volume. We're cut, we came down three weeks ago with 2.6 million. The 2.6 million is testing the 17, 7 million rather. Last week, what do we do? We cut to 2.8 million. Same deal. Now, what that does is this. That establishes the test at the lows. Now what you want to see is wide price spread accelerated volume to get out of there. What we, what we don't want to happen is for Gold Corp to hang at these lows. Because what happens is that the longer you hang at lows or the longer you hang at highs, no matter what the characteristic of the volume is, the more probability is that it's going to go after it and break it. You know, So what you can expect at this particular point, the lows have got tested. Now what you want to see is that you want to see the uh, wide price spread accelerated volume. Now, what I expect you're going to see is this. We go over to the dollar for a second. This is where this thing is so cool. The dollar, folks, okay, when, when the dollar went topside on Friday, and the dollar went topside by 1,500 ticks at one point during the day, end up closing down, uh, no, closing up 900 ticks. Uh, the volume was good, but the volume wasn't enough. Uh, we, we did uh, 74,000 contracts. The, the, in order to break the downtrend, that thing would have to do about 85,000 contracts. It didn't do it. Today, you're backing down with 38,000, which is light. But what that's saying is that you're going to go after the swing low now. And the swing low on this, just the, the, the minor swing low, meaning from a few days ago, is 94.67. That little baby only has 62,000 contracts. So I expect, number one, you're going to go after it. More than likely, what you're going to do is actually go after the actual swing low uh, that looks like an ABC structure on the way down that was established on May 14th. And if, in fact, that swing low also only has 53,000 contracts, you break that swing low, if we do break that swing low and you have volume behind the move, what that would set up, that sets up an A to B equals C to D into the 90 area. And what seems to be wide open inside that dollar index is the uh, eight eight area. What, what is intriguing about this, uh, of course, is that it's like, man, you know, you get interest rates going up, the bonds are going down on price, up in yield, and it's like, it's like, it's the dollar should have strength, and it just doesn't have it. Inside the commodity markets out here this morning, uh, you get gasoline pulling back. Uh, let's see, uh, two point five percent. Crude oils uh, down six tenths. Uh, the rest of this, uh, you know, we get some uh, action, uh, basically, uh, yeah, you get action on the way up. It's hard to believe. With gold even being up, uh, what doesn't make it? I guess it is up 2.8%. It's only up two bucks, big deal. Um, the rest of these markets are pretty flat. Oh, lights, I mean, uh, gas, natural gas. Let's go look at, look at natural gas. Uh, we get some action in the natural gas market. Uh, NGQ5. So let's take a look at this. Natural gas up here. Okay, so she came down hard on Friday. We've done 18,000 contracts thus far. It's not bad. Yeah, this, is, this is gonna keep in the consolidation. This is gonna be pretty wild watching this shake out. So the low of natural gas in the last uh, you know couple of weeks was 257. It, it got down to 258 and uh, didn't have it. 
On Friday, which is interesting, is this. So check this out. On Friday, folks, we, you got into a, you went from 267 to 261 with 63,000 contracts, but you, we didn't break the low. That's always bullish. That's pretty intense, man. So I expect what you're going to see, that natural gas contract is going to start grinding higher once again. And um, it's still very inexpensive. There's no doubt about that. But bottom line, the way that is set up right now, it looks like it's going to grind higher. If we go take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI, we'll start with the uh, XAU. XAU right now is trading out here at a price point of 67.16. And uh, let's put this on a weekly basis because what does happen Inside these indices, folks, you can really learn a lot uh, volume-wise on a weekly basis what you're going into. And the XAU, we came down last week with uh, 21 million shares. That little baby was coming into 40 million. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, so check this out. The low that was established on March and coming into 34 million. Okay, so we came off the lows in March and we had 34 million. We come down with 21 million. Yep, that's a good that's a good scene. Dollar sign HUI. So we go over and we that's the XAU. We take a look at the HUI. What do we have with the HUI? HUI is trading out at uh, 158.44. When we came off the, let's see. So that did 15 million shares, and you're going to 21. The, the day that we're going into, folks, is March 18th. And we did that on a weekly basis with 15 versus 21, which, which once again is showing that at these lows out here, inside that gold market, there's not sellers. Now, what we do need is buyers. Sellers we don't have yet. We go back over to the uh, S&Ps again just to see how uh, this little baby is trying to get into the low. And this is going to be really intriguing watching this to shake out because the buyers certainly aren't out here this morning. Um, and not that there's been a lot of selling either. Uh, it's just that the, the future, the, it, it wants to get down and test that high volume swing. See, last Friday, folks, the, the market shot down right at the open and came all the way back and really was a flat market all day with volume, by the way. So you had a lower low. You did have volume that came into the marketplace. And what the market is trying to do out here this morning is just get into that level. Now, the way that w would work is this is that once you test it, if you test it with lighter volume and it, does, it couldn't handle it, guess what? Then you're going to have a consolidation all day long, meaning you'll bounce right off that level. The level we're talking about is 8.3, and we're at, we went to 8.5. Uh, what the market has already shown thus far in, in the first uh, hour out here is that we don't have buyers because the, the, the market itself, okay, could not get through the downdraft out here that was produced out here at 9.50 a.m. this morning. I suspect what it's going to do right now is it's going to go after this 8.3 once again. We'll see whether it got enough juice to get into the 8.3 um, and to, yeah, and get into that 8.3. Now, that's on the S&Ps. We go to the NQs for a second. We take a look at the NQs. It's the same type of setup. Now, the NQs have a little bit lower low in the context of um, price-wise. Right now, the NQs here came down to 54. The number we're talking about in the NQs are 49. That's, that's really about the same, actually. So we're going to see that also make the run for it right now. And thus far, we have, uh, let's see, you're at 46. You get six minutes into it. And I, I, it looks like this is going to be the one. The With six minutes, no, it's still light. It's, it hasn't hit it yet. It's still, we, uh, the NQs only have 2,500 contracts into it. It needs... Um, the last time down, we had 7,000. That's not even enough. You, you need, on the NQs, you're going to need about 20,000 to basically break that baby apart. What we have had here, it's kind of neat. If you happen to watch on Tiger TV, uh, you have five 10-minute bars, though. If you want to see the classic of building cars, this is the classic of it. Tries to get into it, can't go on the way down. Tries to get up, can't go up. Just, a, let's see, is it a four? It's an eight-point spread right now inside the uh, NDX 100. You know, if we take, if you take a look at the, if you want to see the correlation, if you just uh, trade and accuse the themselves, the, the correlation is just about 
uh, as clean as you can get when you, when you take a look at this, because what you're going to see, the three Qs right now are trading at 108.86. The low that was established out here. Now, see, this is what you do have. The subtlety inside this is pretty cool, because if we, if we, if we can exclude Friday for a second, what we have thus far is this. The low, the highest volume bar we have thus far today is still the low that was established inside the three Qs today, which is 108.76. So when you're doing a probability on it, you say, okay, that wants to get tested, at least. As you, that's your first part. Second part is that you're still going over to Friday because we have a high volume low on Friday at the 108.63, which, you know, we've hit 108.76. That set up there is saying number one is going to go after it. Now let's picture this. If it rejects it, what that would mean is that then you, you'd have a shot to make the run to the 109.16, which would be a decent run topside, right? If it doesn't reject it, then what you do is this. And when you're talking about price projections, you just take the bottom of 106, 108 rather, 108.63. And you take the top of that, which is 109.63, and that would be saying that you're going to go to 107.63. That's how you basically set those up if you're setting up intraday trades, folks, okay? And once these numbers start hitting, which they really start hitting a couple weeks ago, um, they, just, they just hit pretty good. You know, it doesn't mean that, it, just as I said, if it rejects that price, guess what? You're going to bounce. You're going to go up to the other side. But that also is a dynamite range in the context of going in and coming back out of all these markets. Uh, we go take a look at the, uh, uh, let's go, go back to Walmart for a second because what did happen is that one of our targets were giving us a heads up um, that uh, they basically uh, put a buy on Walmart. Uh, Walmart was upgraded and that is a good sell signal. Man, you don't even think about it. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. You stay right there folks, come right back. Dow is down 31. NASDAQ's off 18, S&P's are up five and a half. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow down 34, NASDAQ off 21, S&P's down 6.5, and, half, and uh, you can expect uh, we are, let's see, four minutes into this bar as it's going after the lows. If we uh, take a look at, uh, I'm going to go to the transportation uh, index just for a second first, because the transportation index, folks, it, it, number one, has come down and it's been vicious. Uh, what you have out here this morning is that this baby uh, is down a buck twenty. If we go over to Delta Airlines for a second, take a look at Delta inside this index, what you're going to see is that Delta is going after another swing low out here this morning. And it looks like Delta is going to blow away that swing low that it's going after. And the way Delta is set up, now this is what's always dangerous about how you have gone up versus coming down. Um, you know, when you look at Delta, it's like, man, this consolidation has been out there since November of 2014. It's below the consolidation right now, and there's, there's really nothing holding Delta up. Um, you know, we're at 41. Delta wants to go down into that high volume swing low that we've talked about, you know, across all the markets of October 2014. And that high volume swing low is on Delta is $32.71. So bottom line, it looks to me that Delta today, this is, this is starting to march down uh, into that whole area. We go over to the uh, E-minis just to, uh, for another minute and we take a look at uh, how we're running into the swing low out here. And what you're going to see is that ES. It's pushing into this level right now. We've, we've still, we haven't hit a lower low uh, thus far. We're at uh, 8.6. You know, 8.5 is the low uh, that's been established thus far out here. Now, the NQs are a different number. Now, watch this here. Actually, let me put the SPY up first. So if you, when you do these correlations, folks, if you, you know, you, you want to get the probability on your side, the most it can be, what you're going to see first inside the N, I mean, the SPY is that the, the low of Friday in the SPY was 208.98. The, the SPY... We still have the high volume swing this morning at 209.15, but there's not enough selling in there. Now, that's not the same as the NQs, however. If you go take a look at the NASDAQ 100, and first we'll just use the three Qs, what you're going to see in the NASDAQ 100, and this is where it gets really cool, is that it's already broken your, your swing point from this morning. That swing point was established at uh, 108.78. We're at 108.78 right now. That first leg down, we had volume of uh, 823,000. We're already at, at, we're at 587, we're 590 right now. Now that's gonna have a shot to break that, and if we do get that break, 
All right. Either or. You either get the break with volume or you just close be below 108.76 on the 10 minute, meaning another three minutes. That will set up that you go after that low. So it's pretty cool how this whole thing is, is set up. And we'll see whether uh, basically it wants to build more cars to go after the low. Is it just going to go after the low, you know, and say, okay, that's cool. I hit the low. I'm, I'm out of here. Or, in fact, you break the low. And then, of course, if you break the low, then that's, uh, that would be another leg down in the marketplace. Because it wouldn't be a large leg, but it would be a leg that's, that's big enough. Uh, when we do go uh, look at, at where these markets are right now, basically these markets are flat. Uh, Europe is down about uh, half a percent. It had been down, uh, you know, basically almost a, a full percent bottom line. You get uh, a couple of these markets. If we go, if we go over to the DAX, which, uh, oh, the DAX is set up to go a lot lower. Oh, this is interesting. You stay right there, folks. I'm in. Mr. Basil Chapman is going to be coming up next. Growling a problem with you. We have Steve Rhodes at 1 to 2, Dave White, and I'm going to be back here at 3 to 5. Have a great day. Have a safe day. You stay right there. Basil's coming right up. Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.